women literally create men. No, we literally do not. We do not create people. Let me explain. And this is not me completely disagreeing with you. It is me adding to, and in a way that most people have probably not even considered. And so let me lay it down a couple of caveats for clarity. The whole post, and I'm leaving it here, I, I believe in stitching people and keeping their videos intact so that you can go and watch hers. Again, this is not an attack on you at all. So when we talk about uh, women submitting, I am with you completely. I have never been one who bought into that. I believe it's all total patriarchy. Uh, I believe that we have been conditioned for the crap. Uh, I'm older than you are even, so I have been at this for a long time and fighting it for a long time. And like you, I am a certified Christian minister uh, and left the church. The truth is, even when I was in it and trying to do it, y'all, it was always off to me, okay? It always felt off because I am a natural leader. So when we talk about you know, men being the ones who are supposed to lead and all that. It's, y'all, it's all just some social construct crap that is truly for conformity's sake, ultimately for the sake of control. When, the, the sooner we all grasp that, then the sooner we'll all be free enough to expand our minds to think about uh, what else we are here for and, uh, and some real truths of the matter, okay? So sis is really passionate about what she believes. And I believe if you're going to do something, damn it, do it with passion. The reality is she's reminding me of me not that long ago. Y'all, if you go back to my videos on the patriarchy, I am straight up cussing men out when they come at me with that submissive bullshit. So I see myself not that long ago. Um, so I want you to know I'm right here with you, all right? I'm, I mean, I'm with you. When I say I'm with you, then I've, I've, I've thought just like you do, all right? So one of the things she did is she used scripture, uh, Roman 1 and 25. I, and listen, I'm just going to say any pulpit understanding you have about the Bible is, uh, is, is already questionable where I'm concerned. Uh, because if it's not coming from the esoteric, um, esoteric original uh, intention of the original scripts, not the Bible as it was uh, stolen. And I've already done a ton of lessons on, on that over there on that other platform. Um, <laughs> then yeah, the scripture says, and it goes on to say, they served the creature more than the creator. And her point here is that the mothers are the creators of the creature and now religion wants you to wants women to now serve their creations and this is where we're about to get into it her biggest point was as women we create all beings and if we create men then why would we then turn around and serve our own creations and i'm saying women do not create people never created a not man airy person what we are are incubators what we are are carriers what we are are conduits we are conduits for these divine creatures because we all come here divine we all come here not just divine but knowing our divinity which is later than worked out of us and we forget about our divinity and then later on in life many of us uh, go in search of it and find it again but we need to get this straight the roles we play are roles that we choose to play many of the roles that we've played have been because of social constructs and every social construct is for the sake of conformity for control and it's why so many women are bucking the system nowadays because we do recognize that patriarchy has indeed been for the sake of control. And I think it's going to be important for all of us to come to a space of understanding, or at least most of what we come to it when we come to it. But to understand that a woman, just because we have the parts, every 
uh, uh, every woman does, uh, you know, all of our parts don't even work for that necessarily. Some of us have the parts and don't use them. But those of us who people come through, we did not create those people. We had the mechanism for the incubation process to happen. We have the mechanism to be the conduits. But to say that those are your creations is actually a lot egotistical. <laughs> and see, we got to get the ego out of the way about everything. I didn't say get rid of the ego. I said get it out of the way. There are times when the ego is in the way. And especially where men and women are concerned, and black men and women in particular, I'm screaming for y'all to put all of this this submissive crap aside and see your own divinity so that if a man in a space does not see himself as a leader and know that there's some work there, know that there is a woman who can fill that space. And, and there's gonna be something you can lead on. We came here with our own specific individual designs in our own divinity, okay? And that's how we exercise that divinity on this earthly plane is to tap into our own individuality. We got to stop with all of this pitting against with the men and the women. And anybody who is buying the pulpit understandings of anything, you got some pulpit understanding, it's some wrong understanding. It is some, and I'm not usually one for labels, but that's some wrong understanding. It was strictly for the purpose of controlling. And women just are, are, are uh, yeah, I mean, those of us who are progressive are not on that tip. Those of us who recognize our own divinity are not on that tip, okay? And there are some, some women who are, who are still there. Go get her. But for those of us, and many of us are, where we recognize that that crap ain't right. Here is where I am hoping that we can all come to, the point that we can all come to, is to understand that we are each our own creator, and our own creation. You are both your creator and creation. Because when you understand, and if you're using, you know, ancient scripts, whether it comes out of the Bible or from other places, and you start to understand that through esoteric understandings, that the part of God that is you is that stuff that you do so very easily. Um, and when you understand that you are God, you are that spark, you are the creator, then it, t it lets everybody off the hook. Mothers, you no longer have, the, the, have to carry the burdens of what your responsibility is as being the conduit for the people who came through you. We all came for our own path and purpose. Does that mean that there isn't a role that each of us can play in each other's lives as family? Absolutely. But the reality is most people have no idea what that is. And we, that's why we have all of these sick connections to each other that we're doing more trauma bonding than we are actually supporting one another. We gotta stop playing the game and get to the point of really understanding why we're here and what divinity is and to understand individuality and understand how we are to successfully support each other and be together. But listen. As a woman, there is no woman who has ever created a person. I don't care how many of them came through you even at the same time. You could have birthed three to ten. That does not make them yours. It means that you provided your body, provided the nutrients and all the things that they needed, but your body was built for that. Your body was built to be able to do that as a conduit to keep the the, the humans going. But take the pressure off yourself, okay? We come for our own path and purpose. That is why taking full responsibility for any and everything in your life is the only thing that gives you the power to be able to transcend any condition. All right, I ain't mean for this to be that long, but understand this, your body is temporal. That's why your body is temporal. You came here for a particular time, and this particular time, if you are here, for the purposes for which you came.